Uh, my name is Craig Henriksen. I'm a senior manager of the product management team. So iRobot actually got its start from MIT. The founders were from MIT. They did a lot of their research in robotics and they said, we think we can make practical robotics and really take this industry from science fiction to fact. Uh, we started with some early on prototypes and you can see them throughout our Hall of Fame here. But the, the ones that first got our, our most publicity really are the ones that have been used in challenging environments in, in wartime. The Packbot is very rugged. Uh, it has all sorts of payloads you can put on it. And really that speaks to the evolution of our company of being government funded and then taking that research and then apply them to new applications. And I'd say the first commercially successful application of that knowledge was with our Roomba. The Roomba first came out in 2002. It's been growing ever since, and we now have a whole line of, of home care products, uh, both outdoor and indoor, that's really extending this, this knowledge base that we started with fairly humble beginnings. A exciting new area that we have um, brand new product around, it's a platform that we call Ava. This robot will fully autonomously run around a hospital floor, map out the, the environment so you can tell exactly where all the different hospital rooms are and a doctor can actually log in remotely via an, an iPad or an interface on their computer and control this robot. Basically you can come on and say, you know what, I want to go see Mrs. Smith in room 132. The robot will find its way all by itself through that very challenging environment around people, around obstacles get into the bedside of Mrs. Smith and can interact in a very meaningful way. So she, you can zoom in and the doctor's face is there. He can actually, he or she can actually interact with the patient remotely. It's a really powerful tool to allow great care from around the world for all these specialists and, and bring that care to, to more and more people. For a long time, uh, the industry of robotics was trying to make uh, the future humanoid. And that's very, very challenging. You know, the founders of iRobot took a very different approach, which was, we want to make something that's very practical, solves a problem in a simple way that people can relate to and you can see value in. And uh, something you know, as, as humble as, as a vacuum has really started to make this groundswell of interest in robots, but also not just robots, but the, the kind that actually can solve real, real world problems today.